It is Friday, August the 12th. We have had an exciting summer. Uh, we are very excited about Monday the 15th. We have Meet the Teacher coming up. We are, uh, can't wait to see all our new and returning pandas, uh, get to see their classrooms. And then Wednesday, obviously, welcome back to school, first day of school. I know Mrs. Diaz has already sent out some information about our 4K, 5K procedures for that day. Wednesday and Thursday, we want our kids to be well, able to be walked into their classrooms or at least into the building uh, and have that warm handoff. We've also made some significant changes over the summer. Uh, our start time at this campus, the elementary campus, is going to be 8.05. Our academic day starts at 8.05. Our line continues to be where it was last year from 7.10 to 7.55, but academic day starts at 8.05. The middle of campus, the homeroom bell is going to be at 7.55. So no change there. We've made some pretty significant changes to car line and that is really predicated on overall safety and speed for you and your child to drop off and pick up. So in the morning, what we're going to do is for all those children of age appropriate, they can go ahead and exit the vehicle without assistance of a staff member. If we do have our littles that need additional help, we are more than happy to do that and we'll have staff and to do that. We think this will make the process go quicker. Parents in the afternoon car line, one of the biggest changes we're making is you'll still enter uh, East Point Academy with two lanes of traffic, but we're going to merge at the building as you come around the curve and you get to the awning, we're gonna to merge to one lane of traffic. We are very concerned about the safety of our faculty, staff, and students. As we looked at uh, children and staff crossing a line of traffic to enter a car, we were very concerned about that. So we're gonna merge, and again, we think those children of age appropriate can go ahead and identify the vehicle and enter that vehicle without assistance. But always we're there to help at any time a child needs assistance. Uh, we are also, we continue to be committed to the healthiest, safest school environment possible. Uh, what does that mean? That means we continue to pay attention to uh, health and safety concerns. Our hand washing stations have been removed, but we have added additional hand sanitizer stations as children enter the building. All our faculty and staff have completed their school safe training. So I'm very proud of that as we start the school that uh, we are trained in that. And the other big thing of note that's happened this year is the USDA food program has been ended. So what does that mean to our parents? That means we are back to the free, reduced, and full pay system that we knew three years ago prior to COVID. It's important for all families to go ahead and complete the USDA meal form. Regardless of what you think you may or may not qualify for, it benefits the overall school and benefits the family. So when you pick up your car line tags this uh, Monday, attached to that will be the form. Please take a couple minutes and fill those out. We are so excited to see you on Monday. And of course, can't wait to see the kids back on Wednesday. Thank you.